Hello there, this is Miss Fingless Nottingham from Bad English Tricks. Okay, this time I'm not the editing because I'm doing it with my editing computer or something for Steve Carson. Nothing big, but still a little bit Steve Carson. And it's not a huge thing, but it's huge for me and it might be fun, but not for everyone. But let's see what happens. But this video that you're watching us is contest entry for Cloudy Miter. And he talks calm and I appreciate uh, how he is in front of camera, not editing usually, and talking calm, and he knows what he's talking about, and uh, I like same kind of music. Sometimes I would like to watch channels that are talking about music that I don't like or know about, because that's how I get to know about things. And also from Claudia, I get to know about things so many Bands that I have haven't ever heard, Iron Maiden. <clears throat> not not joking. No joking. I was meant to say not. Yeah, but it, let's start. Uh, it's uh, go to see his channel uh, to see what his mental disability be. This is wedding team, and 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 there's four questions, and I'm going answer for this now, and. First question, number one, something old, something wild. No, 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 something new. So two albums uh, by the same artist band that have at least uh, six years between the release years. Maybe you already answer, know my answer because I said something wild. Tear of Boredom, Follow the Reaper and Chaos Ridden Years. And this six years but i don't know can you say this is album uh, but i want i thought i first i mentioned these ones because i appreciate how alex Laiho did live shows uh how he did really um hard guitar work at the same time as he was singing and leading the band but because I'm not sure, can you say this as album? Because it's live, and I don't actually have it on CD or vinyl. I have, I have, I have DVD. So, but this is one of my favorite Tear of Boodle um, album. That's why I'm mentioning something wild and the Hate Crew Death Roll. I didn't like so much uh, the Hate Crew Death Roll as I liked this first uh, albums. And Zero Boodum's leader, uh, guitar hero Alex Laiho, uh, died just a couple of days or weeks. I'm not sure what day it was. It was last year, end of the year. Uh, but it, it got in the news in this year. He was really, uh, how could I say, hero hero. And he brought like some, I don't remember anymore how, who was it? It was some um, other musician that said that he brought like Steve Wave, Ingrid Malmsteen, uh, guitar hero to e extreme music. Oh, of course, there's been other people also, but he's not the only one. But he did like, to me, it was like leap from power metal music. If you had listened already, power metal, like neoclassic power metal, like Stratovarius in Wim Amstern, and then you heard, listened. Zero of Boodum, there was something familiar for your ears, even though it was a more extreme side of metal. And really good musicians did uh, nice songs, listen uh, melodies from solos and all the riffs. Yeah. And they had always this theme. Uh, this Reaper in front of uh, albums and name came from T 
there was boredom because there was lake boredom and there was uh, killed young people in in many years ago and yeah sad story behind the name of the band and sad story Alex Laiho died in uh, age of 41 and like Matt few few Matt what was the Trivium's uh, guy said that there would be Trivium if there wasn't uh, Follow the Reaper and something wild or something like that. But yeah, this was kind of my tribute also for Alex Laiho. I appreciated his music and I would like to hear other people's comments about him his music and if you aren't uh, interested yet his music I would recommend go to listen go to listen uh, his guitar work and be because this this video is getting long so let's move on something borrowed recommend me song from any metal sub genre that you think I really should check out coffee break and I think I have already mentioned on this on some of my comment I don't know did you listen to it at least I don't remember did you comment me but Duranti this is a Finnish um, band that is singing in Finnish a stylist new wave of British heavy metal uh, like if you took Judas Priest Iron Maiden uh, and those classic bands and put them together you hear it on this it's nothing special I would say <laughs> there's nothing new but I like I like uh, hey look how they are looking I have said this before but look how these guys are looking and from here I would recommend uh, Tulipyörä First song or Rikotan Annual. Which one? Which one? Tulipyörä. Yeah, I would recommend that one. They are releasing soon new album and I'm waiting for it. I haven't uh, ordered it, but I maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah, that one. Tyrantti and Tulipyörä. Wheel of Fire. Something blue. I thought I want to pick something that has I would I can recommend also. Well, this was quite blue also. But isn't this also some blue? And here is Mokoma Elävien Kirjoihin, which is Finnish trash band. I have mentioned this many times. But here I can recommend this time Valtakunnassa Kaikki Hyvin. Yeah. And uh, so two different albums that have song titles containing words that relate the wedding. And first one I'm going, this is a Finnish folk artist. Well, Originally, he was in band, which was uh, started as hardcore stuff, and then they did progressive rock with folk um, and rock and that kind of stuff. But yeah, but this is uh, man and guitar, uh, live stuff. Hyvää yötä, hyvät ihmiset. Good night, dear people. And here is song that he has also recorded on album but on here it's terrorist in hat wedding of a terrorist nice song my wife likes also that then i thought hey this would be, be perfect as as a wedding by the name i don't know, know about lyrics but name of the song paradise lost, lost and 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 where it was here forever after 
But because I'm Mr. Fingless and everything else has been finished, I have to pick Sonatartica. Not their best album, but I this has some cool stuff also. And here is a song called Love. Hey, let me know what you think about these songs, especially the songs that I recommended. The Terrorist in Hat. And no, no, no I mean, Turanti um, Tulipyörä. Well, of, of course, Terrorist in Hat. It's kind of. You have to know what they are seeing, he's seeing there. Mm, but yeah, and congratulations once more to Townsend and wait for what is coming for Steve Carson. If you haven't made a video yet for uh, Cloudy Murder, I would recommend do it and do it quick or be. Bye bye.